What's going on guys? Mitch here. As you can see, my beautiful Tarmac SL7 uh, requires a chain. And uh, last I checked, it is recommended that in order to move this bike forward, you do need one. So I've got, uh, I've got my little card stack of chains here. Um, still don't know which one I want to go with. Hopefully the camera will show those. So that should be the season's worth on this guy. Hopefully things go the way I want it to. Um, over two bikes, obviously, but uh, on this build, we've done full red, obviously. So uh, we are going to go with this. So uh, when this video is filmed, they do still have, uh, they have launched a new red group set. I don't know if they have yet or not, but uh, so this may change a little bit, but this is the 2022 model, early 2023. And uh, springtime, I believe they are coming out with a new one. So it may still interchange. I don't know that yet. I haven't been told that, but uh, for the time being, I will be using this guy. So, um, a couple things. If you are changing chains, uh, it's usually simpler to just uh, put on the exact same that you had on there if, there, if you didn't experience any issues. Um, if you did have any issues, uh, for example, maybe you threw on a larger pulley wheel on there, like I did, you may have to increase the, the chain lengths, or perhaps you went down to a smaller cassette, or smaller chain rings or bigger chain rings, uh, you may have to adjust the chain length accordingly. Um, in my world, what you typically want to do, uh, just before you start the project here is, uh, I'm telling you guys right now, uh, you shouldn't do this, um, but you want clearance to go from, you know, big ring in the back to big ring in the front with a comfortable uh, stretch on the on the bottom pulley so if you can if you can manage that then you're usually pretty good and uh, you know you shouldn't ride the bike like that but as long as you have the ability to you're not going to bust any chains uh, conversely you know there is a little bit of an allowance here so that uh, if you do want to run I run a 40 what 48 35 I think yeah 48 35 chain ring but some people want to be able to uh, size the chain to fit either uh, bigger chain rings or a bigger cassette in the back. So, you know, adjust accordingly. Uh, for me, I'm going to fit it around this uh, 10, uh, what is this, 1028 uh, cassette that I had on my old Tarmac SL7, which I cleaned up and uh, I'm going to reuse that. So, it uh, shouldn't be anything too crazy, but uh, I'm going to size on a chain and throw it on here, and uh, that's going to be the project of the week. So, let's get this guy cracked open and uh, we'll run it around. I'll actually shift the derailleur down here kind of mid. Ah, you know what? It's at the bottom. So whatever. Um, yeah, let's get it sized up and uh, get, a th get a chain thrown on there. Okay. All right. So I'm going to try to do my best to show this here. So I've got the chain uh, in the big gear in the back, 28 tooth, and I've got it in the 45 in the front. Now this is, uh, what did I say? 114 links or something? I can't remember. 100 and, uh, but, but what do they come with? Yeah, 114, I believe you can get a little more if you need it. But uh, anyway, so all you're trying to do is essentially make it so that when you pull this chain together, you've got a little slack in the wheel. So let's take a look here. So if I put this together right now, of course it would run, but you see how slack or how non-tensioned uh, that wheel is? I probably want to pull that in, probably in that kind of range there. And you can see as you keep going, that wheel will keep coming up. You don't want to stress it out too much, but I'm looking at this going, I could probably take off, I don't know, four links maybe. Let's take a look here. Four links. Yeah, pretty comfortably in the four length range. Uh, and I can always take off more. So uh, that's what I'm going to start with four, maybe six and uh, size up the chain. So let's get that done. All right, so I have taken off this many links. This is uh, actually probably good reference for me down the road on 114 link chain. Hopefully that's close enough. Let's find out. If not, uh, we'll see. So, okay, let's put the chain together with the quick links and flat top up. All right, guys, so I've got the chain cracked on and put on the uh, quick link. I can't really see where the camera's focused on, but it's somewhere around here. Um, I think it's right that that link that looks about right. So we've got our quick link on, and uh, I should say that I dropped the chain down a gear, uh, or a few gears, sorry, just to make fitment a little easier. So that's all done. So uh, let's do a quick overview and show you what we're looking at here. All right, and just like that, we've got uh, 
a really good looking chain that's on the bike and uh, you know I can move it around and all that fun stuff so that'll help me pedal. Um, obviously I have not adjusted a little couple things here and there so it's kind of it's not shifting the best right now obviously I literally have given that zero attention but uh, so I will go through and uh, adjust probably the limit screw here this looks a little far um, otherwise uh, yeah that's kind of it so I'll get this all tuned up here and uh, next week we'll be doing grip tape and then this bike's ready to rock and roll all right, guys, thanks for stopping by and uh, appreciate it as always. Any questions, leave them below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, share, and uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers. See you, uh, see you guys.